What's up, what's up, everybody? I go by the names Gills Collins, and you're watching my ride right about now. Yeah, as you know, I'm dressed by high wear. That's why I'm looking this fresh. You know what I mean? Just to bring you your favorite show on your favorite TV channel. That is Magic One. Keep it locked. Don't touch the dial. Let's go. This is a 2008 Isis. That's the model of the car, and it goes up for about uh, 26 to 27 million. You can own yourself a nice 2008 model. But it's crazy that today I'm not here to talk about this car in particular. I'm gonna be bringing you something very, very, very good and beneficial to you, car owners out there. You know, here on my ride, we try so much to make sure the show is beneficial to you. At the same time, you get entertained by it. Uh, we're gonna talk about car theft, and at the same time, basically car security when it comes to the security of your car very many people in Uganda don't really take it as a thing to make sure their cars are kept in check so that they don't have to worry about you know their cars being stolen or something like that so right about now I'm going to introduce my guest my very old friend uh, he goes by the name Mr. Babu but you know I call him Babu Motors as always but I'm going to be introducing him to you guys and he'll tell you his full names probably. But today we're going to be talking about GPS tracking device. This is very, very essential when it comes to your car safety. And Babu Motors provides these services to you as is going to be explained to us. And mind you, is going to show us as well how this tracking device works from how it is installed in the car. How important is it? And at the same time, you know how beneficial it is to you when your car is stolen. How are you doing? I'm good. How are you? I'm good. I'm good. It's good to see you. Thank you very much, you yes. guys. Uh, it's a pleasure to see you again at my place. As always, definitely. It's a pleasure for me as well. Thank you very much. Yeah. So we're here today to talk about the GPS tracking device. Okay. Of which I think that's a very, very good and, you know, interesting thing to introduce to Ugandans when it comes to car theft it's very very rampant and people usually don't know what to do and how to even prevent it from happening so Mr. Babu here is going to be talking to us about that he's going to show us everything he's going to explain how the GPS tracking device works definitely it's very very important for you a car owner yes Mr. Babu yeah let's carry on now all right, my brother. Thank you. Yeah, well, we can start with uh, how a GPS tracking device looks like. Yeah. And then um, I will give you uh, my technician to explain how it is installed. Yeah. And then uh, definitely I will take you through uh, how you operate it from your phone. And then uh, how we operate it from our uh, database control yeah. room. Yeah. I will take you through and uh, definitely we shall uh, do the demonstration here how uh, in case your vehicle is stolen and uh, how we recover it and uh, how fast and quick it is okay and then also i'll uh, have a i mean uh, you will have a chance to hear from one of the victim actually we have installed for her on this vehicle and uh, she have been victim uh, her car was stolen and uh, actually, she was used to think that uh, a GPS, uh, who is going to touch my car? And at uh, the end of the day, uh, my car is in my house. Or, uh, so she was like, uh, you know, she will talk about her, whatever. Actually, it's not only about, let's say, safety. A GPS does a lot of job, okay? Uh, it does give you the history of your vehicle. It does give you the speed of your vehicle. It does give you where the vehicle was, at what time, where it was, at what time, what speed it was moving. For example, let's say you want to know yesterday where the vehicle was. You are able to see where the vehicle was yesterday at what particular time. And uh, for your information, you can go as back as three months. If you want to know maybe one month back on this particular date where the vehicle was and at what speed it was moving, we are able to show you and we are going to show you right now. Let me remove my phone and uh, we start yeah. with this particular car, okay? Yeah, this is uh, mobile view, I will show you from computer also as well. Yeah. Uh, as you can see, it is showing Kampala, Central Uganda. So which means the vehicle is in Kampala, Central Uganda. Here down it's showing the number plate of the vehicle. As you can see, UBH682S, then we put the client's name. 
to easily identify who is the owner of this car okay so uh, i'm going to show you through satellite mode now it is satellite mode i have to zoom it zoom it when i zoom it shows me currently you know when you are zooming eh? yeah uh, it, the map takes few seconds to load because we have changed it from uh, map to a satellite mode now you are able to see this vehicle is parked particularly on this here where the arrow is the blue arrow okay so a little bit zoom and zoom a little bit more and the structure of the building shows like this okay here the vehicle is parked now i am going to take a briefly this dashboard away so that we can clearly see so this is the button when you click here the dashboard is taken away so you can see it's showing here okay now when here is a tree here is a building hmm? now first of all i show you where exactly it is it is near you can see mariam road okay and there is a mariam high school okay now the vehicle is this side and it is parked in the compound okay now uh, i mean when you even if you can tell your cameraman to 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 rotate around and show the building it will be showing this building which is this one through the satellite and then there is this small building this side also then that, that's actually where we are right now oh, yes that's where we are uh, right now yeah so maybe there, that's that's where we are right now and the that's what the satellite system is trying to show that, us the tree yeah and this is the tree in the compound yeah and then the tree uh, you know that we just saw on the phone is actually there yeah yeah that's true the view eh, on the screen is small but we are able to see that that's where it is now when we go to the map mode i'm going to click on the map mode so it will show you the map where exactly it is so you can see it is showing uh chizuta zone kisasi okay that's where the currently vehicle is now let's uh i mean move to the next step and uh, we show you how the vehicle i mean in case it is stolen eh? uh, i can show you practically how we do it and how we stop it okay how the system works is uh, when i send a command from my phone the we are using a local network like for example airtel or mtn now the local network provider sends the signal to the satellite then the satellite sends the signal to the server and the server quickly responds back to the sim card which is on the gps tracking device and uh, the command is sent uh, through the server that stop this engine and it takes maximum 3 seconds and uh, the command has been sent okay so if the vehicle is moving at uh, let's say very high speed for example they have taken it and uh, you learnt maybe after 5 minutes or 10 that the vehicle has been stolen so when you send a command uh, the gps uh, is able to know the speed of the vehicle at what speed the vehicle is moving and actually it even show you on your phone uh, dashboard that the speed the vehicle is moving and then gradually it reduces the speed of the vehicle as the fuel is getting done from the car no matter how, it could be showing the full tank okay but the one who is driving will learn the vehicle is developing some mechanical problem okay so he will be given chance to put his vehicle on the side so let's say if for example it's moving at 30 km per hour it will take 10 seconds to stop because he can put if he's moving at 120 km per hour then it might take like 1 minute while the vehicle speed has been reduced so he's able to put the vehicle on the side wow th th that is very interesting you're trying to tell me that the gps tracking device actually from the communication let me say from the satellite as you've told us yes, you know is able to 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 control mm. uh, everything that is there to stop the yes. car from stopping mm. i can show you from here the screen of my phone actually let's say that this particular car we want to stop it right now okay it shows us that first of all you have to understand that these icons which are down they are all functions of the gps okay 
and uh, when it comes to commands command when we are sending command we have to click on this icon which looks like a setting icon I click there and it opens a list so I have to scroll down all these are functions so when it comes to control fuel as you are seeing if you can zoom and clearly show that control fuel when I click on control fuel it brings me this one cut off or recover okay it is the same process of cutting it off and the same process of recovering okay so when I click on cut off it asks me for the password and one of the reason it does that it's because in case your phone is uh, let's say being used by somebody so they have no access to cut off the fuel of your car or delete your device now here it requires my password after putting the password as you can see it clearly says the command has been sent successfully now once the command is sent successfully to the vehicle actually now uh, as you can see up there it is refreshing so it will show within few seconds that the the your command has worked once we see here on the dashboard that the fuel has been cut off of that particular car it is going to show right now okay so the guy guys the yeah, process so is on the it's on the process but even if you go to the vehicle right now the command has been sent and the vehicle will not start Okay, guys, like, you know, uh, the car has stopped. Mr. Babu has yeah, cut off. Yeah, you can off. see now he's stuck. Yeah, yeah, the car is stuck. And uh, as you can see, as you can see, the car is now stuck. And definitely to retrieve it, like to ignite it, it can't unless you command it to... No, it can't. You can actually show it practically that uh, we can go to the vehicle and uh, you try to start that car, it will not start. That's very awesome. So guys who are out there watching and you own a car, this actually works. You know, what, what kind of phone does it require to operate? Is it any phone or there is yeah, a specific Yeah, so long uh, uh, um, the application is found on Apple Store as well an Android phone. You can download it from uh, Play Store, Google Play Store. So the application is very friendly and uh, actually it's not heavy. And uh, I think it is uh, something which... Uh, works with all the phones so long as there is a data on the phone you download the application and you will be able to track your car from your phone as well if you want to track it from your computer your tab you can use anything so long as you have internet connection as you can see uh, something which i was showing you you can see it is showing here on the dashboard cut off fuel and the are you seeing now that one shows the current status of the vehicle is that even if someone goes there and wants to start, cannot start it, okay? So to recover it is the same process. You click here, you go to control fuel, it comes recover. You click on recover, it will ask you for your password. You put the password and say okay. Set OK, it will recover automatically. Uh, we have made it affordable. Previously, it was costing uh, 500,000 shilling and they were charging annual subscription, monthly subscription. I don't know, there were a lot of stuff and it was very hard to put GPS tracking device and maintain it. But we have made it uh, very, very affordable. It is uh, 300,000 shilling, Uganda shilling. And once you buy from us, definitely we are not going to charge you any money uh, for the next 10 years. You have it. My name is Joseph Chekoti and uh, I'm a company technician. I work with Babu Motors. Yeah, my work is basically to install GPS devices in the motor vehicles and in the motorbikes and in televisions and any other house property that can use wiring. Yeah, why wiring is like because this GPS has it is internal battery, okay. but it is a long. I mean, a duration is short. The battery has to drink power from either the car or the motorbike, bicycle or the TV because the TV is connected to power. Okay, so the GPS device is recharged. Is recharged from the vehicle, from the vehicle or. And from the any other current, like would say maybe the battery of the car. Uh -huh. This is the the device itself. 
and uh, it has where you can place the SIM card that connects you online. Okay. Uh, hold up. SIM card yes, yes. and the GPS tracking device. Yes. Then, so you need to have two SIM cards, is it? No, you on your phone and the GPS, or yes, it's sure. oh, oh, oh. GPS, we are the ones who provide you a GPS with a complete oh, package. Okay, that word it's not a telecom company. Okay, no, no. okay, it's we for specifically for this special for that. For that All right, cool. Online, and uh, when we put this, car, this this GPS in your car, we put it in a way that you will be. We put it and install it on your phone as well, mobile phone. So that you will be able to monitor your, fo your vehicle from wherever you are on your phone. You can see it is movements, you can see where it is parked, you can see whether it is moving at what speed. And uh, also on your phone you can be able to know the previous movements of your car by, playing, uh, by clicking on the replay. Of the uh, there's an icon there on your phone or, or on the phone. Yes. Okay. That, that that's where it went all that day, specific day because okay. you can log in the date you want to know. Okay. Okay. That's very dope. So I want you to show us um, how exactly you assemble this. Uh, or you first tell us what is called what here. That's a ready okay, GPS this tracking is the device. GPS device. Yes. So and this what, is what's where this? you can place the SIM card. Yeah. yeah, yeah. To activate it because without the SIM card the it cannot card activate. Card. To activate it, you have to place the, the SIM card here. Okay. And then now you get the cable. Okay. Because this cable connects you. Oh, this cable, you see, you can see it is fixed here. It is fixed here like this. Okay. And the rest of these wires go to I mean, specific areas where only a uh, 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 who knows wiring like me can know where. <laughs> yeah, like this, you can see this four. And it is, these are also four. Okay. So every wire here goes on on each of this one and then this socket is also you plug in this uh, fuse like this so this is a fuse this is a fuse okay. then now the, whole the, work of the fuse. this the, the the work of the fuse is to control circuit okay. that is like oh, for yeah yeah. yeah 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 like for example like you you the car is moving and you are trying to switch off the engine yeah. this is what command the, the command comes from the from the gps yeah. And then this one acts. This one will disconnect all this wiring from your car, and no fuel is flowing, and the car will st will stop automatically. Uh, I think okay. This is just a, 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 a gum, a glue for attaching it on a specific place in your car. Yeah. So you peel off this one, and then you put it here, and then you peel off this one also, and then you attach it somewhere in your car where you cannot even know you the owner of the car because we don't advise you even to know okay. because like we are hiding it from everybody else okay. apart from you knowing that you have it in your car and you can see it on your phone okay. but since when you mentioned that you hide it from everybody uh the person who's got to steal that car if they watch this show they're going to be like okay i'm going to try i know the kind of places at least that they would you know try to hide it so i'll look there and i'll definitely get it uh so w what's the guarantee when it comes to that that you give the client out there that it won't be found easily well, maybe well luckily it is uh, one of the things we do to look for a place where we hide it in a way that if somebody is not the one who placed there it, will, it is not easily found and uh, when a thief is coming to steal a car, he will not have that time of opening all the car and looking for it before he steals. A thief will not even know there is a GPS there, by the way. So he will just come, he starts the car, perhaps he has his way of disconnecting the, I mean, he's starting off the car, he will start off the car and move. Now for you, you will know your car has moved because your phone will show that this car is moving along this street. Because it also shows you this is uh, Buko Toxas Road, this is uh, Apollo Kagwa Road, this is what what street. Yeah. You will be seeing all those streets and you will know exactly that your car is this place. Yeah. So what you do is you can uh, cut off the engine yeah. from, the, from wherever you are. The car could be in Gulu and you are in your bedroom yeah. here in Kampala. You have to switch it off. Yeah, actually, you know, Babu showed us that and already. Also, you also have, it also has so many functions, this thing. Because like... You can even geofence your car and say you don't want it to go beyond this perimeter. Okay. Like for example, 100 kilometers squared. Yeah. 
so that car will just be moving within that perimeter. The moment it crosses that line, it switches off automatically. Uh, oh, because it has that it. automatic feature. Yeah. You may decide and say, no, I, want, I don't want my car to run beyond this speed. Then you, speed, you, you set a speed of your car. Like you want it to not go 100 kilometers per I mean 100 uh, 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 kilometers per hour. Then you speed, you, limit. A speed limit. Then you limit it within 100 below, okay. so that whoever is driving, if it is not you, whoever tries to race it, it will never go beyond 100. Even if you race it off. Okay. Yeah. All right. Well, thank you very much for taking us through that. Uh, this is a technician from uh, Babu Motors. Yeah, so here with me, I've landed on somebody abruptly here, but, you know, Babu told me I could ask her a few questions because she has acquired uh, this service before, you know, she happened to pass by and uh, she's called Becky, that's what she told me, but if you don't mind, would you mind introducing yourself to, you know, the viewers? Yeah, hello, I'm Brunj Rebecca, yeah. Very nice. So, Rebecca, you've used the GPS tracking device before, right? Yeah, right. yeah so how was your experience with it and why did you opt for it in the first place? Uh, the GPS is okay, it's good. Uh, actually, some friend of mine, they stole her car. She packed her car and they stole it. And then they told her about the GPS, another friend. Yeah, then she also told me about the GPS when I bought my car. Okay, so you yeah. have to wait for your car to be I stolen. I didn't yeah, but wait anyway, for that. That's very dope. So what have you found fascinating? Like the process that you, you know, went through to apply for it. Was it hectic or was it favorable at the same time? And I want you to advise somebody out there why they would have to opt for the GPS tracking device for their cars. Okay, the process is not hectic. The process is okay. Uh, by the way, you don't even know where the GPS is, yeah. but you just have it on your phone. You monitor your car on your phone. And it is a, I think it is a good thing. To me, it has been good. Since I bought my car, I know where my car goes. Even if I give it to my friend, and my friend tells me I'm going to Mpijet is in Masaka, yeah. I see, I see, yeah. I mean, you can get my contacts and all that from the, I mean, when you Google for Babu Motors, the number is uh, Airtel 0750859205. Then uh, MTN is uh, 078588. Seven three seven eight six. So these are my contacts. Please feel free. Even if you do not need a GPS, you can call us for any information or any inquiries. And those who are enjoying having our GPSs, please feel free to ask us anything regarding the GPS. Actually, we have started giving the booklets. Uh, when we install a GPS in UICO, kindly don't forget to ask for a booklet and it is self-explanatory. It will explain to you how to send commands and how to use it. Then yeah, at the same time, I go by the name Gills Collins and I'm dressed by Hiveware. You know what I mean? You can hook us up on uh, www.hiveware and you can you know, go and purchase all the merchandise that there is that you may find there you know all these outfits you know what i mean so you can go to facebook as well type in hive where you can go to instagram all your social media platforms and also man don't forget i go by the names gills collins and you can hook me up also on all my social media platforms uh you go to facebook gills collins you know you go to instagram everywhere so uh mr babu come right here and say you know goodbyes to these people and uh your final remarks you yeah. know uh today my final remarks are going to be with the uh, uh, i am going to sing for you guys <laughs> <laughs> wow that, that <laughs> sing in luganda <laughs> oh wow just let, let's do this let's do this let's do this um i want you yeah come up here come up here come up here uh, so take over take over the floor uh actually i was used to enjoy this song of uh before um, bobu wine became into politics okay. uh his song which was very popular uh nam sang and deva okay. nam sang and deva ali musa pala namabu zavavachi <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That is great. 
great. So, uh, I know it up to here only. <laughs> so, guys, thank you very much. Thank you for watching. And keep on watching Magic TV. Uh, we shall keep on bringing you uh, interesting stories. Uh, I'm grateful to my brother Colin. Actually, uh, uh, he has visited us for the second time. And we invite you again and again, please. Yeah, definitely. He's got another program coming up called Smart Cubs. Look out for Reed, uh, Mr. Babu Motors right here. Very, very incredible man. And I think he's doing a very great job to, you know, automotives when it comes to our region here in Uganda. So, you know, shout outs to you though. Thanks so much for, you know, everything that you're doing and the opportunities that you're providing for very, very many people here uh, in terms of jobs. So that's it for now, uh, Mr. Babu. We catch up uh, next time, you know what I mean? It's been yours truly, Gleels Collins, and this is my ride. Keep it locked on Magic One, don't touch the dials.